on yet another abortion case, temporarily allowing emergency abortions to continue in Idaho, despite that state's restrictive ban. Former President Trump, you take credit for the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, which returned the issue of abortion to the states. Correct. However, the federal government still plays a role in whether or not women have access to abortion pills. They're used in about two-thirds of all abortions. As president, would you block abortion medication? First of all, the Supreme Court just approved the abortion pill, and I agree with their decision to have done that, and I will not block it. And if you look at this whole question that you're asking, a complex but not really complex, 51 years ago, you had Roe v. Wade, and everybody wanted to get it back to the states, everybody, without exception, Democrats, Republicans, liberals, conservatives, everybody wanted it back, religious leaders. And what I did is I put three great Supreme Court justices on the court, and they happened to vote in favor of killing Roe v. Wade and moving it back to the states. This is something that everybody wanted. Now, 10 years ago or so, they started talking about how many weeks and how many this, and getting into other things. But every legal scholar throughout the world, the most respected, wanted it brought back to the states. I did that. Now the states are working it out. If you look at Ohio, it was a decision that was, it was a, an end result that was a little bit more liberal than you would have thought. Uh, Kansas, I would say the same thing. Uh, Texas is different. Florida is different. But they're all making their own decisions right now. And right now, the states control it. That's the vote of the people. Like Ronald Reagan, I believe in the exceptions. I am a person that believes. And frankly, I think it's important to believe in the exceptions. Some people, you have to follow your heart. Some people don't believe in that. But I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. I think it's very important. Some people don't. Follow your heart. But you have to get elected also. And because that has to do with other things. You got to get elected. The problem they have is they're radical because they will take the life of a child in the eighth month, the ninth month, and even after birth. After birth, if you look at the former governor of Virginia, he was willing to do this. He said, we'll put the baby aside and we'll determine what we do with the baby, meaning we'll kill the baby. What happened is we brought it back to the states and the country is now coming together on this issue. It's been a great thing. Thank you. President Biden? It's been a terrible thing, what you've done. The fact is that the vast majority of constitutional scholars supported Roe when it was decided. Supported Roe. And that was that's this idea that they were all against it is just ridiculous. And this is the guy who says the state should be able to have it. We're in a state where in six weeks, you don't even know whether you're pregnant or not, but you cannot see a doctor have your, and have him decide on what your circumstances are, whether you need help. The idea that states are able to do this is a little like saying we're going to turn civil rights back to the states, let each state have a different rule. Look, there's so many young women who have been, including a young woman who just was murdered, and he, he went to the funeral. Uh, the idea that she was murdered by, a, by, a, by an immigrant coming in, to, they talk about that. But here's the deal. There's a lot of young women who are being raped by their, by their in-laws, by their, by, by their spouses brothers and sisters by oh, just it's, it's just ridiculous and they can do nothing about it and they try to arrest them when they cross state lines thank you there have been many young women murdered by the same people he allows to come across our border we have a border that's the most dangerous place anywhere in the world consider the most dangerous place anywhere in the world and he opened it up and these killers are coming into our country and they are raping and killing women and it's a terrible thing. As far as the abortion is concerned, it is now back with the states. The states are voting. Uh, in many cases, the, it's a, frankly a very liberal decision. In many cases, it's the opposite. But they're voting, and it's bringing it back to the vote of the people, which is what everybody wanted, including the founders, if they knew about this issue, which, frankly, they didn't. But they would have. everybody wanted brought back. Ronald Reagan wanted it brought back. He wasn't able to get it. Everybody wanted it brought back, and many presidents had tried to get it back. I was the one to do it. And again, this gives it the vote of the people, and that's where they wanted it. Every legal scholar wanted it that way. Staying on the topic of abortion, President Biden, seven states, I'll let you do that. Uh, this is the same topic. Seven states have no legal restrictions on how far into a pregnancy a woman can obtain an abortion. 
Do you support any legal limits on how late a woman should be able to terminate a pregnancy? I support it Roe v. Wade, which had three trimesters. The first time is between the woman and the doctor. Second time is between the doctor and an extreme situation. The third time is between the doctor, I mean, be between the, the woman and the state. The idea that the politicians, the, the, that the founders wanted the politicians to be the ones making decisions about women's health is ridiculous. That's the last, no politician should be making that decision. A doctor should be making those decisions. That's how it should be run. That's what you're going to do. And if I'm elected, I'm going to restore Roe v. Wade. So that means he can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth, because some states, Democrat run, take it after birth. Again, the governor, former governor of Virginia, put the baby down, then we decide what to do with it. So he's, in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill the baby. Nobody wants that to happen, Democrat or Republican. Nobody wants it to happen. You're lying. That is simply not true. The Roe v. Wade does not provide for that. That's not the circumstance. Only the woman's life is in danger. She's going to die. That's the only circumstance in which that can happen. But we are not for late-term abortion, period, period, period. Under Roe v. Wade, you have late-term abortion. You can do whatever you want, depending on the state. You can do whatever you want. We don't think that's a good thing. We think it's a radical thing. We think the Democrats are the radicals, not the Republicans. For 51 years, that was the law. 51 years, constitutional scholarship said it was the right way to go. 51 years, and it was taken away because this guy put very conservative members on the Supreme Court. He takes credit for taking it away. What's he going to do? What's he going to do, in fact, if the, if the MAGA Republicans, he gets elected, and the MAGA Republicans control the Congress, and they pass a universal ban on abortion, period, across the board at six weeks or seven or eight or ten weeks, something very, very conservative. But you're going to sign that bill? I'll veto it. He'll sign it. Thank you. Let's turn now to the issue of immigration and border security. President Biden, a